comparable. So we can get on here. That's actually pretty nice. Get okay, push. No, it's compliant. Okay. Uh, so we'll have to push. I guess we could just push from GitHub desktop. Okay, cool. So we're here on my Windows computer. We're gonna wait for some people to show up. Today is chill stream. It's chill stream. So we're gonna be chill. Now we're gonna be drinking tea. Oh, that's exciting that it's your birthday, but I do have to say that these streams are all about me. Uh, these streams exist to glorify my ego. Nah, I don't know, man. It's early. Uh, happy birthday, Mike3XX. You are the first person to speak. Wait, are you a subscriber? Does that mean, oh, you're Twitch Prime. Okay, that's almost a subscriber. We love our subscribers because they give me money and I spend money on great things like tea. And here we are, we're, we're, drinking, we're drinking tea. You know, what was I thinking this morning? Somebody in a comment called me melodramatic. Melodramatic, and I looked it up. Especially in being exaggerated, sensationalized, or overly emotional. I don't know, man. That wins five out of 12 games. Bro, you're almost halfway there, you know? It's like you have a self-driving car that can drive on five out of every 12 streets. You're almost halfway there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so... Windows is the most common operating system in the world. We're also trying out VS Code today. I've never really used this before. So let's first get check out dash B hashes. Now we have a branch. Let's run the mini key value tests. So for those of you who don't know, mini key value is my distributed file system. It's now used at comma. through the firewall. Perfect. That's our test. Oh yeah, that's the test for rebuilding and stuff. So first thing that we're gonna have to do is look at these to record and from record things. We'll just stick the hash on the suffix. This has suffix, not valid? Oh my god, you all think I'm on drugs. You know what, Greeny? You know what, Greeny? Ban. That's right. It's Banuary. Is ban morning. What that sound is is my laundry. We're doing laundry, okay? Is there Vim key bindings for VS Code? How do I get Vim key bindings? 
We're gonna waste the whole stream doing crap like that. Vim key bindings for VS code. Oh, this probably has one of these stupid plugin architectures. Uh, you're a subscriber, you get away with more. I just look at somebody and I don't see a star next to their name, and I don't see a crown next to their name, and I'm like, get the fuck out of my channel. How do I, these things are so hard to use. All right guys, I'm sorry to do this to you, but we gotta go put the clothes in the dryer. So I'll be right back. We're doing laundry this morning, it's laundry morning. Pretty soon we're gonna have dry clothes. It's gonna be a good day. So many key values, my distributed file system, you'll find it on my uh GitHub, github.com slash geohot. Does this tell you how to install it? VS Code, Vim script is not supported. Oh, this looks hard. It's automatically enabled. Oh, install. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Press the gear in the bottom left. I mean, this is what everybody is using. I should kind of learn how to do it. Right. Do we have Vim key bindings? Oh, this is really nice. I think this works. Oh, cool. Thanks, bros. Yeah, so we're just going to do a has suffix ss. Uh, Should that be? It's gonna be an MD5 hash. I got you some tests for that too. Yeah, sweet. Keep them as hex as well. I don't know, should it just be a string? Wait, how come my vim is gone? Oh. Is that what we want? 
really we want the hash to be in there and optional. Now, I should really use some real serialization thing that isn't these stupid hacks. Does this stuff work and go? Index must be non-negative. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, and too few values in struct initializer. Ugh, is there a way to make something optional in a go struct? Optional value in go struct. Oh, this looks awful. Go struct default value. Can I at least do that? Write a separate constructor function? Oh my god. Why can't I just do this? Why doesn't that just work? No, nope, it's gonna complain. No, nope, that's of course not gonna work because that would make sense and you know. Let's make sure to make pull requests and make you value real before we start. Who's talking about fucking com AI? Who's talking about self-driving cars? Monka? Monka S5 was? Is Monka S5 a subscriber? If you're a subscriber, you get a warning. If you're not a subscriber, you get banned. No, well, that's a layer problem. Okay, cool. Okay, well, ah, uh, you know what? We can just double prefix that. Yeah, that works. Suffix. Fine. Perfect. Uh, 
mismatch type string and array string. Oh, that's not right. Uh, that probably. But now we have too few values in the struct initializer. Okay, now we're just left with too few values in struct initializer. And it's because I'm creating records and I don't give them a hash. Let's just talk about it. Who's talking about it? Wait, honestly, who's talking about it? You know, time out. Time out. Not the place. Who's Monka S5? Oh, your code's garbage? You know what? Time out. There we go. Y'all gonna be nice. Well, you'll just risk it. You know what? You... You are actually bad. No, don't mod user. We're gonna ban user. Yeah, there we go. It's always, you know, this is really common at the beginning of uh, my streams where you guys think you can get away with shit. And then you'll realize that I read, do you guys know what the number one rated uh, management book on Amazon is? Oh, this is the Dover Thrift Edition. Here we go. Look at this. I got it today. It's the number one bestseller in office management, you know? Oh, the audio's bad? Well, I'm sorry. You can buy me a better microphone. I don't know. Is this better? That's right. Oh, it's not bad at all. Oh, what are y'all causing trouble for? <laughs> um, all right. I mean, we could just edit every place where we create records. Like here. Yeah, that's probably right. You don't have a hash. to go through and figure out everywhere I create a record. Like here we go, I create the default record here, which will just be that. Create some records. We're actually going to want to compute the hash here, though. So, well, we'll get to that later. First, let's just add support. So, the idea is we want every file to be able to have a hash value. We want to keep it backward compatible with the existing mini key value. Just in rebuild. Let's 
So what rebuild does is if your uh, database breaks, you can regenerate it. Okay. Build failed. Print LN list ends with redundant new line. What? That's kind of by design, but whatever. I don't even I don't even know about that. No, so um yeah, maybe maybe we'll change the name. Uh, we're adding our file hashing support. It, this is a content hash. It, it's based around, yeah, it's based around level DB, which of course is already a hash function. So generous, thanks for the bits. Okay. We really should have done some test driven development here. Would have been a great example. Um, Let's get like MD5 hello. I kind of like that in the tests anyway. Shows that they're passing. Okay. Add support to record format for a hash. Get config global user email. Oh, guys, you know what I got? And we can go open it on the stream. I got an Apple Watch. I bought a Series 5 Apple Watch yesterday. Uh, and then we'll push it from here. I think we can just publish branch, perfect. All right, now if we go over to GitHub, we should see my hashes branch. Oh, we can even create a pull request. Oh, wow, this is really nice. Uh, but no, 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 of course you can't do that from GitHub Desktop. You have to do that from. So this is mini key value. And you'll see there's a hashes branch. How am I editing the code directly from the server? No, it's not mounted. So this is just using, uh, it's actually on, checked out in the Windows system. So you can check my commit, compare, right? So we can see kind of what I've written so far. So I added hash to record type. I added a mechanism for parsing the hash. If there's a hash prefix, I added a few more tests. I shouldn't have removed that. I got scammed, but it's fine. Uh, okay, buddy. Perfect. Okay. We're also going to refactor rebalance at some point to not do it like it's doing it. There is a rebalance call in the server now, right? Yeah, there's a rebalance call in the server. Now whatever. Let's delete that code once it's done. Yeah, I mean, we could separate them by something, but eh, it's a fixed length, right? Like, it's all going to be MD5s. So it's fine. They're guaranteed to have... Uh, you only need a Sentinel if you have... Uh, Non-fixed length. Sure, it might be better for the future. A lot of things might be better for the future. We need some more. 
Well, I'm sure I can use get from VS Code directly. I don't know if that's going to work well. Probably will. VS Code seems pretty good. So the person who suggested hacking NASA, how did storming uh, Area 51 go? If that went well, we'll consider it. Okay. So what we're going to need to add here. Use hashes and lib, see how I do it. Uh, yeah, I mean, oh, this looks so easy. MD5 sum. I'm gonna have to import crypto MD5 here. Yes, I do. Uh, we love MD5. MD5 is the best hash function ever. SHA-1 used to be better, but now it has collisions too, so who cares? It's all the same. Uh, MD5.sum body. dot encode to string. Does that work? Hex dot encode to string seems nicer. the value. It's key value, right? It's not a file. Yeah, it's not WSL2. I think it's just WSL. If you can tell me a way to check, I'll check. Mini key values, yeah. I rewrote it in Go a while ago. Um, the Python one was too slow. So now, like, let me just make sure that my delete is not stupid. No, I say, oh, it's stupid. Yeah, yeah, it's stupid. We want to say rec.hash here. That will 
persist the hash. Okay. Do the test still pass? Let's see. Cannot use body type IO reader. Byte. What? I literally copy and pasted that code. Oh, they're doing it like that. Oh, That's not right. Because what if there's zeros? The source is byte. I don't even know. Okay, fine. You know what? I'm done with this. That guy said this worked. Does this work? It does have a fixed length, so maybe it is okay. Multiple valued format printf in single valued context. Why, I want S printf or something? Oh my god, the C's legacy is disgusting. All right, well that's a different problem. New reader, cannot use MD5 sum IO reader. There's gotta be a way to do this. Open a new hash interface to write to, IO copy. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Um. That's cute. Never mind, I do like that better. Even though, does hex encode the string, is this uppercase hex or lowercase hex? Beautiful. Lowercase x is way more beautiful. Um, io dot copy hash body. How can that error? Ban the Angular guy. Why would we ban the Angular guy? What's wrong with the Angular guy? What did he do to me? Just because we're ban happy doesn't mean we're gonna ban. Ah, okay, all the tests will pass. That's good. Um, let's 
did I write something that after the test run, we like dump the, do I write a dump for that? It's kind of level DV compare. Let's try our test. Cause our test should actually fail now. Not all values match because they have hashes. Look at that. See, so this key now has this hash in front of it. Um, okay. All right, what? It's not, it's not, you want it bigger? I don't think control plus works, sorry. Control plus might work here. Add the hashes to the database. Oh, we got to push from here. Okay. Now, if we have a hash, I think what I want to do is just return a header. Um, w dot header set if rec length of rec dot hash is not equal to zero. Is there some standard for that so I can just make up something again? Oh, is this trying to be, is this editor trying to be smart and like put braces in for me? I hate when editors do that. Content MD5. Oh, here we go. Good, I, already, I got it right. Oh, it's base 64 encoded. Or a 128-bit MD4 digest. I guess 128-bit is exactly what I'm, what I'm doing. Let's read the RFC. Content MD5 generation, blah, 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 blah. Did it say it have to be base 64? Oh. Has to be base 64 encoded. Can't help you there. That's shitty though. I don't really like that. Does anything actually support this thing? Oh, it was removed. Because it was inconsistently implemented with respect to partial responses. Oh, that's an interesting problem. We have that same problem. We should add a note. Note that the hash is always of the whole file, not the content request. Okay. Is Legion Hive causing trouble? Wait, 
Wait, what? Oh, it lagged. That was ridiculous. Okay. So now, if I run mini key value, it's really very easy to use. Um, you can just curl, which puts big swag in we have. Now you can get key. Why didn't that, oh, here we go, content MD5. Let's go online and make sure that's actually the MD5 with big swag. Wow, wait, this is gonna be the fastest we ever like did anything. Normally I say like, it's not right. It does not match that. Oh, that's about that. Huh. It's not right. Should we add a print? And the whole body of that request should just be big swag, put, and now a get. Then it says this is the MD5. What is that the MD5 of? Zip archive data. Oh, it's an empty hash. Ah, okay. My MD5 didn't work. Um, uh, if we've already read the contents into the T reader. Oh, yeah, I messed this up. Um, this isn't, I, this is stupid. I, I don't, I, I wrote stupid stuff. Uh, I can just say md5 sum buff dot bytes. Oh, look at all those lines we're saving. Cannot use buff dot bytes type func bytes. Oh function, then we should call it, shouldn't we? Slice of unaddressable value. And now we're back to this stupid problem again. So we're back to doing this. Ah, oh, programming. We don't need that anymore. Pretty much back to what we had. The problem is that I was consuming the reader. I didn't actually need a reader there. I don't know why I wrote all that code. Um, still the wrong hash. It didn't really put. Okay, that's the correct MD5 now. Uh, oh, I guess the put was failing before. What happens if I try again to put? Yeah, okay, so yeah, it's four or three. Okay, that's fine. Cool. Fix hash computation and return header. It's 
not PowerShell. So I set up Ubuntu using Window for Linux subsystem, and then I just uh, SSH into it. Okay, that's done. Uh, let's just write a couple tests then. Again, we probably could have done this with test-driven development. I don't know, we're probably gonna wash. I was gonna open that in Vim. I'm trying not to use Vim today. I'm trying to use VS Code, here we go. Oh yes, let's install the Python extension. Oh, it's a multi-threaded debugger. That's more than I can say for Python. I don't even know what this does. This is gonna send my code to Microsoft, isn't it? Sure, why not, it's open source. Reload the, oh, oh no, oh no, I regret this. Markdown went. value is the distributed file system. Use it for anything. Okay, so that's r.content. Let's print the headers. Yeah, so the problem is that isn't where the header is. Maybe allow redirects equals false, is that it? Understand why the D became lowercase. And that just weirds me out. Because I wrote MD5 here, but I guess that's the standard for headers. We'll reset that. Um, My test passes. Um, the only thing I want to check, I'm a little bit concerned about that uh, that printf thing. I mean, that syntax isn't really, like, sensible. 
uh, in server. Uh, my concern here is what if there's zeros? Actually, Let's just try something that has an MD5 hash with a lot of zeros. Well, you know what? Let's just make the test better. Should be easy to compute an MD5 in Python, right? Python MD5. Or I in range 10. Um, let's just say data actually equals um, MD5, what do I have to do? Import MD5? I'll use hashlib. Yeah, I gotta use hashlib right now. Uh, hashlib.md5. I gotta import hashlib. This is laggier than them. Wait, I was already using hashlib? Oh, well, didn't need to do that. Um, I, I should remember this syntax. Key.hex digest. Oh yeah, love that, love that. Intel I complete or whatever shit. All right, cool. Okay, I mean, if the test passes, uh, well, our test now fails, which is interesting. Let's just make sure some of these hashes start with uh, zeros. Same. That crash. Oh, I see what happened. That kills it. Zero. Do we see one with zero? If we see one with zero, it's just fine. Yeah, here we go. Alright. Yeah, so it, it must. Uh, you know what? We can also. Uh, yeah, yeah, Windows Firewall's upset with me. I know. Content cache test. Yeah, we shouldn't hard code crap like that in tests. Oh wow, I'm just so it's just so conditioned. It's just muscle memory. Alright, for some reason Twitch is telling me I have zero viewers, which I know is not true. Oh, 307 357. Thank you. Thank you for joining me today on this beautiful journey where we add functionality to Miniki Valley. Oh, extensions. Oh, I can search extensions in the marketplace. Oh, I can make micropayments to improve my editor. Oh, it's so nice. Okay. Um, yeah, that all sounds good. Cool. Okay. Uh, now, I think if we go to GitHub, I think we're going to find out that the tests are failing. I want it to be done, but we're not done because the tests are actually going to be failing, I believe. Uh, well, we won't know that until we create a pull request and create a pull request. 
not logged into GitHub on there. You don't like Ubuntu subsystem? I'm sorry. The rebuild test fails. And the reason the rebuild test fails I mean in a way we could just fix this with a hack and that probably actually the best way to fix this probably is just by fixing the test. If V1 is not equal to if, uh, add some. The problem is we do this test where we rebuild the database and then confirm that it matches, but undefined strings, okay. But the problem is the rebuild doesn't recompute the hashes. If we're rebuilding just the level DB, it's optional to have the hash. Good, test passes. Build test. Push. Yeah, so it's failing. The test's failing. Just like I thought. Yeah, we broke it there. You want to pay me a couple hundred dollars? All right, look. I'll tolerate you because you're a subscriber. When I talk about how on this channel I'm desperate for money and I love money, I'm joking around. I have more money than I possibly know what to do with. So a few hundred dollars is not going to entice me to do shit. Now, if you post it, since you are a subscriber, if you post it in the comments, we can all talk about it, and if it's good, we'll be like, Dan, that's a good idea. And if it's stupid, we'll make fun of you. Because like Max Reed once said, bring back bullying. Mm -hmm. 
Do I talk like such a douche IRL? Yes, I do. And you're timed out. Woo! Uh, do I talk like such, I mean, you know, the trolls got me thinking, do I talk like this in real life? I mean, the part of that I'm focused on is the real life part. Odin XVI, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Are you trying to tell me that my stream is not real life? How do I address patents? I address them as your majesty. Your majesty, great 533 LIDAR patent of the Waymo Uber lawsuit. Yo, if you guys want to read something sick, it's New Republic. It's about the 737 Max. Yeah, this is brutal. It's brutal. <laughs> I mean, like, I just, I just love, I love the, I love the picture. Um, you guys know this is something I've been following. It really upsets me. But Open Pilot uses Python. Uh, yeah. Tell us more about it. Come on, come on. Shame? Shami? All right, guys, uh, we already did what we had planned to do for the, the stream today. So let's go on Hacker Rank. Do I still have Hacker Rank installed? And let's try to use esoteric programming languages to solve problems. All right, I, thought, I thought this might be fun. Uh, oh no. George, what was my name? Geohot crap. Maybe that's what I used as a password. Maybe that. What was my name from the last stream? Ah. Uh, oh, Geohot junk. Oh, good thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Geohot junk. You are bro. What password did I use? I don't know. Forgot your password. Geohot junk. Probably use Geohot junk at Mailinator or something. Oh, great. Select pictures of bus. Mailinator.com. Geohot junk. Oh, perfect. If anyone else tries to reset my password using Mailinator, I'm coming for you. All right, perfect. Am I open to, yes, I'm open to new job opportunities, absolutely. My name is Geohot Junk. I live in Alaska. My profile headline, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just upset by this. I'm just, no, 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 Alaska. I live in Alaska. Oh, never mind. Okay. What language should we use? You know what? You know what? Oh, bros. Bros, do you know about morgues? I think I'm almost... Oh, yeah, using only one color. See, this guy. This guy is my YouTube idol. One day... Look at this guy. Oh, that's, that's mini morgues. One guy, I want to... It's just laggy, but if you guys, you guys should watch morgues. All right, we'll use Haskell. What? Right, this looks hard. Wait, what? I don't know, we lost. 
No, never mind. I don't want to play. Ha I don't want to play this anymore. We already did what today's. We already did what today's. Uh... No, it's lagging because my monitor is 5K, and I, I don't actually really understand. Now we already did what today's stream was. What is leak code? Wait, did, well, yeah, let's make sure the test actually passed. Yeah, yeah, we fixed the test. It's good. Yo! No, real talk though, we jailbroke a shower. You ever wonder why your shower is low flow? Well, you know, get a pair of pliers and a pair of needle nose pliers and a, a cloth and some plumber's tape and you can jailbreak your shower too, kids. I don't know, the jazz stream took too little time. I don't know what to tell you. No, it's bad for the environment. The climate crisis division is coming for me. Ooh, Apple Watch, un Apple Watch unboxing. Oh, good point. Yeah, bros, this is the Apple Watch Series 5. All right, we'll do the unboxing, and then I have a copy of Machiavelli's The Prince to read to learn how to be a better manager. Ooh, that was pleasant. Wait, I gotta get, I gotta move my microphone. Sure, we have good. We have good. Hello. 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 This is an Apple Watch. needed to improve the acoustics of the room. I didn't want you to hear the dryer.
see the Apple Watch user guide, download the PDF at apple.com slash support slash manuals slash watch. Perhaps I do have a small wrist. Let's try this one. Whoa. Who's using bad words in my Discord? In my, in my Twitch? Okay. I need... Oh, I think it popped up. Can I pair my phone with my watch? Okay, I don't know about Monka S. I don't know, but the ASMR portion is over. We really, really put stuff everywhere. Oh, here we go. Comes with this too. You can uh, charge it, I guess. Well, I like these new cardboard snaps. that are kind of beautifully designed. It's gotta be someone's job at Apple. What a guy. All right. Open your band box, follow the steps to get started. 
Oh, open your Apple Watch app on your Apple phone. I needed an Apple phone? Why didn't they tell me? Put your Apple Watch and hold it up to the camera. My iPhone is out of date. Sorry, you can't use the Apple Watch until you download iOS 13. No, that's going to take forever. No, that's going to take forever. No. My dreams. All my dreams. Ah. Oh iPhone update stream. It's downloading iOS 13. Ooh, dark mode. Seems vaguely pleasant. What am I going to do with this extra piece? It upsets me. And I used to work really hard because I, I would save all the uh, all the packaging, but now I've become an adult and I throw it away. All right, guys, I think that's today's stream. Uh, sorry, the feature took so little time to write. This is junk. This is junk. What if my wrist grows and I become fat? Well, then I'll, you know, be so upset with myself that I'll need a pickup and I'll buy a new Apple Watch anyway because despite what Buddhism tells you, buying things really does make you happy. That's a lie. But it's a nice lie to believe because if you don't like buying things, that's what there is to do today. There you can buy things and you can post about your things. All right. You can sell things, but yeah, yeah. It's becoming increasingly uh, hard. Yeah, hacking things is becoming harder too. They're really clamping down. They're clamping down on their control of the internet. They're clamping down on their control of the world. You are a consumer. Uh, no, that's not true. I lied about being rich. That was just to that was just to to make fun of that guy who wanted me to do like, bro, bro, could you hack my Instagram? Could you hack my my friend's Instagram for twenty seven dollars? That was mostly just that. I'm really not rich. I really count on all of my subscribers and all of you uh, giving me money, or else I won't be able to afford Apple watches for the next unboxing stream. <laughs> I gotta go put the dryer back on. Oh. I think that might be it for stream today. Oh, Universal Geneva, thank you for gifting subs to people. We appreciate you. Dorkmo, thank you for the bits. We appreciate you. Yes, a smart dryer. That's right. I love smart dryers. Oh. No, I can't set up the Apple Watch because iOS 13 isn't installed yet. It's still preparing update. Nah, I don't want to delete code. Guys, it's not that fun. Let's see. All right, all right. Let's see. Let's see. I don't know. I've never done lead code. Maybe it's super entertaining. Is it super entertaining? Create account. Is it going to ask me dumb questions? Username. Geohot junk. Password. Geohot. Ugh. Geohot 
And then I'm not going to tell you guys what comes next because it's a secret. Oh, I, I did George junk. Oh, I spelt it wrong. Now we can't do that anymore. Yeah, I do that. Okay. Median of two sorted arrays. Who said I can't do the hard ones? Find the median of the two sorted or oh wow this is oh this is verify my email all right you know what they just made it too hard for me and what's it called quick select the algorithm an unordered list median of the two sorted arrays. Better not interfere with my Oh, you can't see anything. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you have to look at my face. Oh, that's funny. No, 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 no. We definitely don't do any ponables. All right, all right. Median of two sorted. Does it confirm my email? Let's go. Come on, come on. Gigabit internet. This doesn't work. I'm gonna charge my Apple Watch while we wait. Sorted arrays. I mean, see, this is the problem. All right, all right. Well, we won't, we won't Google. We'll just try to think about it. Damn! Look at those, uh, those type signatures on that Python. Um. Well, okay. So, what's the algorithm? Like this one is hard, I want to point out, and it is way easier than that one I did on, uh, well, let's talk about, let's, let's shit talk more after I solve it. Okay. Um, med1 equals... Yeah, I understand it has to be O of, so it's, it's like we gotta do some like, okay, you got the two medians, right? And you gotta like get them to converge or some shit. Like, right, so the algorithm's probably something, 
This is stupid, guys. Ugh. Yeah, merge the arrays and resort. Well, so first off, you don't have to merge the arrays and resort. It's very easy to zip the two together. But that, of course, would be O of M plus N, and then that's too much O. We need less O. Oh, it's like you gotta do like binary search on the on the things, right? Like you got like the 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 the, the two. And then you're gonna move one of them this way and you're gonna move one of them that way, right? Okay. So, in an extreme case, the first list contains every, okay. in one case, the two lists are exact, absolutely identical and then you want the middle. Um, in an extreme case, the first list is all smaller and the second list is all larger, so you actually want the, the average of the two. No, you gotta do like binary search on this. And let's see, so the median can be an average of two, but it can never be an average of more than two. So I think the answer is gonna be, yeah, you're gonna have like low and high, right? But do I have two lows and two highs? I mean, I guess I do. Check the last one in the first array and the, yeah, I, I, I understand. I'm gonna fail my Google interview, this is hard. You know, no one knows this algorithm, it's binary search, right? You can search for a single element, now search for the median, right? Well, at least this is clever, at least like this isn't gonna involve a lot of code once you figure out this solution. Um, just merge, sort, and find the median. Yeah, that sounds great, except for this. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, try that. Try that and see if that's, you know. Yeah, right. Yeah, doesn't that sound fun? Yeah, there we go, done. Ugh. Invalid syntax. Oh, see, look, beautiful. Wow, it works so well, guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go, right? Yeah, who cares? Let's have a again. It doesn't matter. That's some tea on my shirt. <laughs> okay. Let's think about a normal median. It's not right. Doesn't even handle this case. It's interesting to also note that there's always going to be an even number, so that's oh no, they're different sizes, so never mind. 
No pan, thank you for subscribing. Uh, okay. Low one equals zero, high one equals nums one minus one, low two equals zero, high two equals length nums two minus. All right, we have our two lists. Right either because you could completely exclude one of the lists. Find median of sorted arrays. It's some kind of binary search. Oh yeah, wow, <laughs> I don't know if that even close to right. I'm sorry, it's, it's just a way of thinking. It's not real coding. Um, we might need more T. Okay, 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 this isn't, this isn't, that, this isn't that easy. Yeah, whatever, guys. Oh, I'd hate to do it in front of all these people. Oh no, they might not give me a job at Google. Whatever will I do? You know how to do it. Binary search to find the slice with double. Yeah, map them, that sounds about right. OBS, okay. This is hard in an uninteresting way. I mean, I kind of agree, but I mean, yeah, you want, you want to implement it? Do we have races? All right. Um, nobody is right. I mean, we can exclude anything. It's not easy. <laughs> it, is, it is deceptive. It is, it is deceptive. Um, we could exclude anything from either side of the arrays that doesn't... Uh, If it doesn't overlap, treat them like metric spaces. The problem is I know you can Google this one really easily, um, unlike the derangements one. So you guys are gonna post the answers in the... Uh... Wait, you're telling me I can do it in linear time? All right, all right, I promise you don't Google. All right, you, you can do it in linear time and pass without timeout? Well, let's do it in linear time. Um, nums equals zero times uh, length nums one plus length nums two. Um,
Problems they ask in Google interviews really aren't very hard. <laughs> if Linear time, let's go. Wait, what? We can write this offline, right? No, don't don't print down that. Sorry. this wrong. Circuit evaluation. This isn't right either. I think, yeah, hang on. Even this isn't like super trivial to write, right? Because this isn't actually right, because you have to deal with the other edge case where this is finished. OK, 
Okay, is it really gonna start throttling me hard? Output 3.5? It's not right. List mergers, right? Off by one. This is frustrating. I just solved it. bad one time. I, I beat out 31% of people. It's pretty good, I think. No, it's not too much at all. Look, it was accepted. Nice short solution. Uh, that's actually a hard, uh, I would actually say that's a hard leak code and I would say that uh, I solved it. That's right. <laughs> um, should we try to write the right thing? Do we even care? So this isn't a real solution, guys. I mean, I don't know why this was accepted. It shouldn't have been. The overall runtime complexity should be this, and this does not. This, this merge here is O of M plus N. Actually, can you even write the extremely stupid one? Even write the one that's so dumb you can just do this. <laughs> it's even faster. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, I'm not. Let's read the fast solution. <laughs>
Oh, it actually doesn't look that... I don't know. I just want to look at how much bullshit it was. I'm not, I'm not really reading it. This looks like a lot of edge cases. Can I employ Z3? But look at that check mark. That's a check mark that I don't deserve, guys. And that tells you that to get ahead in the world, just, you know what? Don't follow the rules. If the rules tell you that you have to write algorithms that are uh, hard, just write easy algorithms and just tell people that don't worry, we'll use LiDAR. Oh, oh yeah, iOS 13 will begin installing in six seconds. That's right, what a day. Um, all right, we're gonna do two sum but we're gonna do it in a hard programming language. We did a hard one. We did one that was hard. Okay, what do we want? They don't have Haskell, I'm sorry. They don't have Racket, I'm sorry. PHP? Uh, what is it? For dollar sign i equals zero, dollar sign i less than length nums. Is this right? For loop PHP. You know my computer lags when I'm streaming to you guys? Put semicolons because it's PHP. Oh, call to undefined a function length. What's it called? Length? PHP length of array. Count. Wow, PHP is stupid. Yeah, 
oh, oh, I wrote the n squared solution. Oh, they're going to ban me. Maybe they will. Oh, that's right. That's right. This is right. Who knows PHP? Oh, yeah, you're right. I should have done the triple equals. Got to make sure they're the same type. <laughs> Quadruple digit, right? <laughs> uh, algorithms are annoying, guys. Like, it's not, I don't know. They don't have basic. This is all they have. No more song suggestions. We're not doing any songs. No, it's, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I was never that good at algorithms. I'm not bad at them, but. I do Code Wars. Do the Sudoku one. Can I do the Sudoku one? Let me think of what that is. Let me think of how much bullshit I'm going to have to write for that. It's like one line in Python. Is it? I don't think so. I don't think it's that easy. If I do what? To check if a... Is this hard? Oh, I like this. It has Vim support. Wait, this is hard. And this is exactly what I wrote last time. Um. The lower the Q, the harder it gets. Are you trolling me? Uh, I mean, this isn't trivial, right? Like you have to, there are, there are two to the N possible decision points. Are you gonna make me log in? No, they're not going to make me log. Oh, I like this one. It doesn't make me log in and create a stupid account where they try to sell me. You could be an engineer at Cruise Automation. Um, this is medium. What's the algorithm here? Uh, I mean, is there a smarter way than just like? Greedy and backtracking? Uh, how do I get the strings? How do I read? I don't know how to... Maybe this does something for me? Do I like have part two, one like this? Missing language, Python. This is broken. Oh, here we go.
Okay, um... Be in the same order... It's just, I, I, this isn't hard, right? It's just, um, if s sub zero equals equals part one sub zero, uh, turn, well, okay, we have to actually check. Okay. If, if both are true, and s sub zero equals equals part two sub zero, we want to return is merge uh, s sub one colon part one sub colon uh, part two or This algorithm is right, is it not? Hmm. Oh, this stupid edge case again. Uh, lane part one. Determination to return true. Yeah, 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 yeah. LF win part one. This is lagging and hard. We're gonna have to memoize this too. Oh my god, wow, that was a stupid typo. See, I didn't even know I had to handle extra characters. What is an extra, what is an extra character? Be very careful. Can be formed from two other strings. What? Oh. 
So basically, I mean, this is just, they should have specified this better. All right, and now, um, well, see now really what you wanna do here is you wanna memoize. There, I, I solved your I solved your thing. That was easy. I don't know. I don't know. Was that supposed to be hard? I was submitting your final. Oh, is now going to make me sign up for an account? Oh, you must sign up before you can view solutions. Oh, that's when they get you. Type racer? Is this like typing? No. No, no, we draw the line of type racer. No, I'm not doing that. What else we got? What else we got? You want to do folding laundry stream? I have been folding laundry stream. Permutation free strings. Is this one hard? That other one was easy and I didn't like it. 3Q. Permutation free. This just seems annoying. Now nah, I want to do this one. Give me something good. Give me something good. Come on, come on, comments. Give me something good. Give me something good and we'll do it. This is like. Ugh. See, that's the problem. You guys nerd snipe me. Like, I see this. And now I'm going to have to think about it and then I'm going to start coding. What's this? To brain fog transpiler. This is too long to read. Yeah, the hotter prize. Yeah, you're funny. What, Google Chrome bounties? What's this? Oh yeah, I don't care. Guys, the internet's extremely insecure. Sond, all right. We're gonna go, we're gonna, oh wait, is my iOS 13? Oh, press home to finish setting up iOS 13. Hmm, a few more steps and you're done, okay. Appearance, dark, yeah, bro. I wish I had an OLED. All right, now I can put my Apple Watch on. Ah, oh, you and internet are very similar, that's funny, bro. You should feel good about yourself. Everyone should feel good about themselves. Unless they're the people who work at H&R Block who lobby to make it so that we can't do our taxes online unless we pay H&R Block. You are an evil person and you should feel like shit about yourself. But other than that, most people, I think they're good. I don't like them, but otherwise most people are probably good. Do this number memory test? No.
Okay, I'm pairing my Apple Watch. But, oh, my Apple Watch is paired. Restore from backup, set up as new Apple Watch. I had an old Apple Watch, but we're gonna set this one up as new because it's new. I'm not trying to hack iOS, guys. Guys, hacking like that, it's like over, okay? Do I think I could be? No, I don't. I'm not, I'm not that good. I'm not doing typing. All right, all right, all right. What about curing cancer? Yeah, well, we'll do that next stream. Um, why is hacking like that over? Because it's not... Like, they're still good as, like, practice problems, but the, the, the golden era of hacking is behind us. Nobody is garbage. Who said anyone was garbage? Nobody's garbage except for the H&R Block guy. And who else? Uh, I don't know. Who else in the world is truly evil? Tinder sucks, guys. I didn't use that shit. Uh, you know, if you want to convince yourself to never use Tinder again, go on Tinder and create a girl account. Um, uh, in a couple days, I think in like a day, you're going to get over a thousand swipes. You're going to get over a thousand people who you could message with. And like, hmm. Then you create your guy Tinder account and see how many, uh, see how many matches you get. Um, but, but that's just what it is, right? What Tinder functions as, and, and one of the problems with online dating apps in general, is the men are on there to get laid and the women are on there to boost their self-esteem. Um, so these, these two markets are not quite uh, uh, compatible. Um, so what you end up with is, is a, ton of, uh, a ton of men who um, you know, validate these women and then the women get the validation and, and you know, sometimes people get laid, but um, not after they put in a lot of effort because that's not what most women are looking for. So there's a few things that can be done um, on both the male side and the, and the female side of, of, of dating apps. I think about this a lot. Um, first off, men outnumber women massively on these apps. They will not tell you this, but it's true. Uh, so what you have to do, what do you have when you don't have a matched marketplace? You want to charge men money. Um, what you want to do is say you have a thousand women on your dating app. How many men you want to have? Maybe 800? So do a, do, a, do a second prize auction and auction off those 800 spots to the men and you can set your bid and then once you know your bid's accepted, you're welcome to the app, all right? Um, so th this gets around the there's way too many damn men problem. Um, then also these men, the men who are willing to pay, are probably of a slightly higher caliber. So there are, there are women who go on dating apps not just for validation, but because they are trying to find a date. But what they get is thousands of guys who are going to you know, give them validation and, and post uh, one-off one -off, uh, pickup lines because that is what most uh, women on Tinder are, are looking for, and not for people to, uh, to, talk about, to talk about serious dates. Um, so you can also, you can also, from the male side, you can limit, uh, you can send up to five messages a day. Oh, oh yeah, do away with swiping. Leave swiping for the women. Um, for, for the women, swiping might make sense, but for the men, it absolutely does not. Uh, the, the, the right strategy on these apps is just to swipe right as many times as you possibly can without triggering their too many swipe right uh, detectors. Tinder isn't even getting good data. I, I really don't understand what they're doing. Um, if, if someone with a little bit of game theoretic understanding came to the dating app world, we, we could live in a world where there are nice dating apps. Um, yeah, exactly, right? I, 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 every, everybody knows that no one wants to go to a club that's a sausage fest. So, you know, you're a guy, you want to get into the club, it's 200 bucks. You're a girl, you bring, you know, five beautiful women's of Instagram, and it's like six girls trying to get into the club. You know what? We'll even comp you a bottle of Belvedere and give you a table, right? Because you add value to the club. Six bros in somewhat wrinkled shirts. I mean, sorry, bros, $200 a piece. I'm 
not sharing my watch analytics with Apple. Create a four digit passcode on your Apple watch, I see. Keep your Apple Watch up to date. Okay. Ooh, Apple Pay on my Apple Watch. I don't have that credit card anymore. Oh, that's so convenient. I can Apple Pay for my Apple Watch. Oh, never mind. I have to enter in my credit card thingies. Oh, my CVVs. Oh, we'll deal with that later. Emergency SLS. Sure. Clock faces. Install available apps. All apps. Apple Watch. Opinion on iPhone 11. It's like the other ones. Adding more cameras is not innovation. <laughs> my CVV, oh, that's funny. Um, should you study in California or go to the EU? I, uh, I don't know, man. It's a very, it's a very personal decision. I don't know you. How could you expect a personalized advice? You know what I'm thinking about doing? You know what I'm thinking about doing? Private sessions. You know, think that this is what cam girls do. Uh, also, I'm gonna be at TwitchCon next weekend since I am a Twitch streamer. Um, boom, my Apple Watch. I don't really want it to have like messages and stuff. I mostly just want it for the fitness stuff. Oh, it like shows me a tutorial while it's setting up. That's kind of nice. No, 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 no. I'm saying that we could have private sessions. Oh, okay, we're talking about keyboards. That's boring. ASMR. We did some ASMR today. Private sessions. Yeah. Yeah, can we make money with private sessions? I think maybe. What's my strategy for reaching 1 million on Instagram? I was kidding. I mean, it would have been nice if it happened, but not if it's gonna require a content strategy. That's too much, man. That's too much. It's one of those things where like, we're not doing, exploits no honestly my insta's kind of good enough i did try pretty hard for a blue check mark but it's really because when you meet girls these days it's not like what's your phone number it's like what's your instagram yo hey what's your insta yo what's your snapchat You created a thousand accounts to follow me yeah i was kind of joking man i don't know who cares Cannot you stream on? Pornhub over X videos. What do I think about cryptos in general? Bro, buy some BitConnect, bro. How's my BitConnect investment doing? BitConnect, let's see going coin market cap. I'm sure I'm making a lot of money. They told me that this asset couldn't even go down. It could only, it could only go up. It could only, it could only, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what? What? It's inactive? Where'd my BitConnect go? Oh no! Maybe crypto is all a scam!
my BitConnect. I invested my life savings into that. I mortgaged both my houses and sold my cousin's kidney to buy BitConnect. Oh yeah, Bitcoin Cash is a real Bitcoin man. Really Satoshi's vision. Oh no, that's another Bitcoin. Yeah, no shit the stock market's a scam. Guys, I don't know if you've realized this, but money is a scam. Like, the money, all the money, all the money circulating in the United States. Do you guys know about fiat currency? Like, if you told this idea to someone 100 years ago, like, in the future, money's going to be backed by nothing. The government's just going to print it and all the populace will be so stupid that they'll just trust it. They look at you like you were a lunatic and ask you like, you know, what happened to the First and Second Amendment? And then like, no, it turns out that people actually are this stupid. Not based on gold, it's based on nothing. Fiat currency. And they gave, they gave it some like name. Now, that said, that doesn't excuse you if you're, if you're a Ron Pauler who screams that we have to go back to the, uh, the gold standard, because I don't really know about that. We should think about it a little bit more. But mm, fiat money doesn't have use value. It has value only because a government maintains its value. People are so stupid. I mean, I don't know what to say. You know, that's why, I like, like, there's people in life who want to, like, accumulate money. Bro, you're earning government points. Bitcoin's more real. <laughs> Invest in Twitch bits. I mean, it's just about as good. <laughs> to be fair, the U.S. government does have the U.S. military, and Twitch does not, but... Don't buy NVIDIA. Video is a shit stock. They they had it. They had a market lead. You thought they were gonna keep going with it, and then the money guys took over. And they're like, "How can we exploit all the value?" Yeah, by Black Lotus, man. You got Black Lotus from Alpha. Yo, that's gonna be worth some shit. Yeah, <laughs> buy Uber. <laughs> buy Uber. <laughs> Yo, guys, you want to get it on the WeWork ICO? You can get in the WeWork ICO, just $47 billion. It trades for 24x revenue. And Tesla and Apple, like, they make things, man. The Apple Store was, was packed last night, you know? I mean, if the best thing the world is doing is like, look, phones used to have two cameras, now they got three. And you know what the worst part is? The worst part of the three cameras is going to be all the Android phones next year that have three cameras. That's, that's just, they don't even know why. Now, like Qualcomm, it's a very important feature that Qualcomm support three cameras on their upcoming CPUs because Apple has three cameras. Oh, Android phones already have four cams, huh? Well, oh, my watch is ready. Press the digital card. This isn't very nice. Look at this. You guys can't see. Look, start. The word start is cut off. Who did that at Apple? That's upsetting. Oh, it's a scrolly. Never mind. Ooh, ooh it vibrated. Ooh, that was pleasant. Oh, yeah. I got a watch face. Heard of GRPC. We're doing a Q&A right now. What do y'all want to know? Uh, oh, I've used this before. Um, what did I use this for? Yeah, I don't know. I don't really have anything bad to say about it. You bought a long way to piss off normies. <laughs> bro, bro, the Chinese are spying on your shit. I got a Huawei in my pocket. 
Have I been arrested? Yeah, man. Yeah, I've been arrested. Terrible crimes. Just Google George Hotz arrested. You can find out what I was arrested for. Um, what's my words per minute? I hunt and pack when I type. I have a MacBook and a razor. Oh, snorting milk, thank you for subscribing. She's a Martin Scrally pro. I wish I was arrested at the Martin Scrally protest, man. <laughs> now I was arrested for uh, marijuana possession. Marijuana. Making the kids crazy. Minera, thank you for subscribing. Now is the perfect time. If you've been watching my channel and enjoying my content, now is the perfect time for you to smash that subscribe button and pay me money. Because uh, I love money. And I can buy great things like Apple Watches. I don't, I don't really like this. It like It's black and then it turns white when I look at it. And then like if I turn it back real fast, it's still white. I don't know. Free Martin Scrally. That's, that's how I feel. But, you know. Advice for a college student. You're, you're, you're like the guy who wanted advice about where he should move. I don't know, man. I just know don't move to San Francisco. That place is a shit hole. SJK, ZRXXX, thank you for subscribing. Searching for Life, thank you for subscribing. I love seeing you guys all subscribe. That's why we do this here today on this channel. Oh, they're doing debates around politics and social issues. Well, that's something I really want to get my voice heard on, you know? Yeah, yeah, I really want to really want to throw my hat into that arena. Transject7 Loquarian, thank you for subscribing. Thank you. I'm really, really glad that you all subscribe to my channel. Who are you voting for next year? You think I vote? Let me tell you about the votes, man. No, but if there's one thing I have to say about politics is it's really all not that important. Because it doesn't matter. You're going to vote for the, you're going to vote for the, you know, it, it's... The best thing we could do to the government is give it less money and pay less attention to it. And politics is basically, do you watch, do you watch reality TV, right? Like, like whenever people ask you, oh, who are you voting for in 2020, right? Like, I'm going to go up to ask them and be like, what, what's that new show that was just on? Oh, it's like The Bachelor where they brought back all the old bachelors. It was like The Bachelor, you know, reunion edition or whatever it was. Now, people were really hyped about that. And then, like, you get into real deep conversations about, like, who their favorite character is on, like, The Bachelor Forever or something, right? It's the same shit. Except everybody in society seems to understand that The Bachelor Forever is just a TV show, but they don't seem to understand that about politics. Where it's also just a TV show. Like, well, you, you ever met Joe Biden? I never met the guy, man. <laughs> you know? He's some TV character. I am Vice President Joe Biden, and I want you to go into a booth with a curtain on a day in November next year, and you're gonna see a bunch of names there, and I want you to make sure you press the button next to my name, because Joe Biden is the best candidate in this reality show. <laughs> Politics could have made me not get arrested. Oh my God, the, the, the two days of inconvenience my arrest caused me. Um, could have, I could have, let's see, I could have spent, I could have spent my whole life. No, actually, I really, the people who are supporting for marijuana legalization, I like you guys. I like you guys because you know what? When I think about change that's actually happened in my lifetime, that's change that's actually happened in my lifetime. And it's positive change, I mean, I don't know, like a lot of change is just like, you know, who's, who they grabbing the money from, who they giving the money to, see that's all a scam. But when they're just making weed legal, everyone wins. So that's, that's, <laughs> that's a cause, that's a cause that I can unabashedly get behind. Marijuana legalization.
Good. Yeah, no, if ever, if ever that's a cause, if you ever are going to make the terrible mistake of going to vote for something, um, make sure it's only for marijuana legalization. <laughs> How do you keep yourself positive when you say everything around you is a joke? What do you mean? Jokes are funny, man. Why would I not be positive? It's the people who think everything around them is serious, like my, my global warming is gonna come take away my bread. I don't think so, man. I don't think that, I don't think that's, I don't think that's, you know, what are they gonna take away? My global warming is gonna take away my Instagram? I don't know. Um, we want weed legal because it hinders global warming by planting trees. Yeah, that sounds good. We love trees, man. Uh, what are you going to offer in your private session? I don't know yet. Do I have to offer something? Should, should we do? Global warming is not fake, guys. <laughs> it's not fake. It's real. It's not real. It's fake. It's real. It's real. That's right. I do love nature. I do. I do. Hmm. If you're ever not feeling positive, take an ice cube and eat it. Mm. Crunchy, zero calorie snack. I really want to go. What's 10 Kirks? Wash my hands, bros. Don't worry. Okay. Do we have anything else to do today? Oh, guys, what sector of programming will be safe from the recession in 2021? I mean, let me tell you something. No sector of anything is going to be safe from the computers. Everything you think you're good at, a computer is about to be better at. I wrote the hash code already. I already did that. Sorry, the stream's kind of misleading. I did that in the first, like, hour. All right, you know what? I, I, I know what we, we can do. I'll show you what I, I, was, I was reading. I was reading something. We can read it together, I guess. It's called The Ghost in the Quantum Turing Machine by Scott Aronson. Maybe you guys will like it. Windows is so hard to use. We're gonna read this out. We're gonna read this scientific paper. Ravens Atrick, thank you for subscribing. Wait, oh, you can't see it? David Buchamp, thank you for subscribing. 
So he has this concept called night needing freedom. I don't really know what that is, so let's Google it. Um, hang on. I'm going to take OBS. I'm going to make me smaller. No. Ugh. Unclick. Windows is not usable. The hitbox is so small. Yeah, okay. So, for those that don't know, Scott Aronson's a, uh, he studies quantum physics at UT Austin. Uh, But really, he talks a lot about computational complexity. Universal, Geneve, thank you for gifting subs to people. Um, Instead, we want what economists call nighty and unpredictability, meaning unpredictability that we lack a reliable way even to quantify using probability distributions. See, that's, that's like, hmm, I wonder what this means, right? I mean, usually we think of uncertainty, right? If you have uncertainty in a coin flip, then that's effectively like quantifiable risk or statistical noise, right? Could this even exist? I mean, so you have this idea of a, uh, a system that to predict it would require as much computation power as to run it, and I guess that's effectively unpredictable, especially if the system itself is the universe. Bro, oh, again, you all got to talk about stuff that if you want my advice on something, private sessions are, let's say $100 for 20 minutes. Does that sound good? Um, $100 for, for 20 minutes. Uh, if anyone would like a private session, uh, we can chat on Skype. Uh, just send me an email. No, there are 100 there are a hundred. That's that's the price. If if you want a private session, it's twenty minutes, one hundred dollars. Just um, send me an email, uh, geohot at gmail dot com, um, and we'll uh, we'll we'll discuss. It's one hundred dollars, twenty minutes. That sounds pretty good. We'll start there, and I will um, try my best to give you advice on whatever it is you want. $100 for 20 minutes. Um, the only caveat is that we're here, to, we're there to talk about you. We're not here to talk about me. Like any cam girl, you can't start asking me questions about like where I live and stuff because that's creepy. And we don't want to be creepy now, do we? Um, $1,000 for a minute. No, there's no negotiation. No, it's, it's 100 for 20. Though if I bore you, you are welcome to hang up at any point. Yeah, so uh, he talks about this, right? So I'll be less interested in particular methods of prediction than in the best predictions that could ever be made consistent with both the laws of physics and the need not to destroy the system being studied. See, I like this guy because instead of using like philosophy terms like that are stupid about morality, he uses philosophy terms that are 
We're no longer talking about ethics, metaphysics, or the use of language, which is a lot of what philosophy is, right? A lot of philosophy is just circle jerks in these areas where I don't think anything can be figured out. Only about whether such and such a system is or isn't physically predictable in the relevant way. See, this is exciting because we can use science to talk about this. Free will is an open scientific problem. Hmm. I reject any connection between freedom and merely probabilistic unpredictability. I'm, I, I'm just more interested in learning about this in general. Uh, it's called Sumatra PDF. I don't know, I just Googled it. Ethics is not, ethics is stupid. Ethics is the biggest circle jerk. And, 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 and everybody who invokes ethics is just trying to get you to like do something. It's unethical to eat meat. Why don't you eat Beyond Meat instead? Ka-ching for the Beyond Meat company, right? That's right. Whatever they want to do, they justify it using ethics. Oh, it's immoral to, it's immoral to do that, you know? Remember when, like, the church used to, like, oh, it's immoral to have sex with that girl outside of marriage, right? Today, we're all, like, meh. But, you know, always ask the question what they're trying to morally guilt trip you with today. And because in the future, people are going to be like, meh. Uh, so, you know, you want to think in the future? Always realize that ethics and morals are mostly a scam. I mean, there's some people who try to talk about it genuinely, but, you know... Oh, what did I read recently? Social media hasn't made us all more narcissistic. It's just given the most narcissistic people in our society a platform. And I'm very grateful for it. Thank you much, social media. I don't know. I tried to read Critique of Pure Reason. Maybe somebody smarter than me can explain it to me and like say that he was really saying deep stuff, but I thought it was mostly just confusing. Let's look up Critique of Pure Reason. I, like, I can't even remember what it was about. Critique Pure Reason. No, don't dump mercury in the food. You're gonna get sued, bro. And you're gonna be the mercury food guy. Everyone's gonna hate you, man. Just because you don't have to believe in ethics and morals doesn't mean you wanna go around pissing a lot of people off. It's not very smart. And what do I think of Jordan Peterson? I don't know that much about him. I read the Kindle preview of 12 Rules for Life. I don't know. Anyone who's trying to like tell me what I should do, I'm skeptical of. Love Sheen Official, thank you very much. I'm not nihilistic. Nihil don't be nihilistic, bro. Nihilism, it's not a real thing. Let's, let, let's, let's deconstruct nihilism. Let's, let's put on our best postmodern nihilism. Let's put on our best postmodernist. The rejection of all religious and moral principles. No, 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 no. Guys, 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 guys. I think you might be misunderstanding me when I talk about ethics and morals. Ethics and morals, of course they exist, but they're deeply personal. What I'm skeptical of is when other people are telling you about ethics and morals. When other people are trying to say to you, it's immoral for you to spit off of that balcony. Right? Like you might not want me to, but you don't have to invoke morality in this. But internally, without morality and religion, you are a meaningless void adrift in a great sea of nothingness. You need to believe in yourself. The 
doctrine of an extreme Russian revolutionary party. Who's the opposite of a nihilist? Let's see what Google says. Who invented nihilism? Oh, this guy, Nietzsche. He had stuff to say. He said some interesting stuff. Thus spoke Zatharusa. That's readable. Um, Beyond Good and Evil. His stuff was readable. Kant was unreadable. I hear he's a genius. I'm probably supposed to like him, but I found it unreadable. He can't like normal people work. You know what was truly unreadable? Hide it. It's convoluted, sure. Uh, infinite jest was convoluted, you know. I think suggesting that I'm on drugs is a new band topic. I wouldn't mind, look, if I was legitimately on drugs, or I, I will tell you, I will confess that yesterday I took an edible and I went for a walk. You want to see how long my walk was? I went for a nice long walk with my friend. Um, and if I was streaming yesterday, I would have been like, guys, I took an edible this morning. Oh, oh, the new health app can now track my cycle. Wow, my birthday is off by one. Oh, my weight's not right. Health profile. Date of birth, what? I'm not in a wheelchair, no. Wow, this is, wow, they really changed everything here. I wonder if there's streams of just people using phones, okay. Apple Watch, Edible Watch, Stat Stream. Wait, I don't understand. This like totally got crazy. Show all health data. Flights climbed. What? This is unusable. Can I get the old health app back? Show all data? No, this isn't what I want. I want to know how far I walked. So far, you're taking less steps than you usually do. Yeah, see, look, that's yesterday. But it's so bad. OMG, programming is so immoral because people lose jobs and we are all human. Save the human job. Save the clock tower. Save the clock tower. Haircut, Jimmy. Goodbye. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you for watching today's stream. I appreciate you having having you all with me. We did some programming. We did some other programming. We did some ranting. And now I'm gonna go read by myself in my beautiful apartment in the cloud where everything is peaceful and everyone is happy. And we did some ASMR and we unboxed an Apple Watch, which I'm gonna wear around a lot. And if I'm not wearing my Apple Watch, bros, you'd be like, George, why aren't you wearing your Apple Watch?
bye bye.